Hello guys and girls, and welcome back to more Sleeping Dogs. When we last left off, we met the, um, the chairman of the Sun on Yi, Uncle Poe. Uncle Poe. He's some old man who's apparently got a lot of power, but I could kick his butt if he wanted to fight me, so, yeah. I don't really know what his problem is. How the heck do I get that freaking statue that's up there? You can see it on the mini map. It's uh at the top right of the mini map. I'm trying to figure out how to get to it. I have to get up that big circle-y thing somehow. And nothing really leads to it. You can use an elevator, but the elevator is inaccessible right now. G ghost pig? Really? Ghost pig? What the heck? You better bring me my freaking fifty thousand dollar bike. I have no idea how much I paid for it. Is that my good bike? Did you bring me my good bike, or did you bring me the POS bike? You brought me my POS bike. What is your problem? Okay. What's your problem? What is your problem? Why would you bring me the POS bike? Why? Why? Get your butt back here. I ain't done with you. I ain't done with you. Fine. I'll take the freaking Lamborghini. Make sure I run over that bike. What is that music place for? Is that karaoke? Oh my god, it freaking is. I thought it was new songs I could buy for my radio. But since I never listened to music... Don't judge me. Don't you do it. Yeah, you mentioned it the other day. 
Congratulations. <laughs> I love that old woman. Okay, now y'all. See you in the morning. Bring me some more freaking chickens. Hey, who are you? Thanks for driving me around. Yeah, no problem. So, where are we going? The flower shop. I still have to pick the color I want. He won't believe how much work it is to get ready for a wedding. We've been planning for eight months now. And there's still so much to be done. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, uh, it better be perfect. My wedding... You see my wrecked Lamborghini in the background? Uh, excuse me. I'd much rather buy a house than a car. Cars can get you places, but houses last a lot longer. Sometimes. Depending on like freak accidents and storms and stuff, but yeah. Good lord, how long are you gonna take the load? Spanny dragon, spanny dragon, spanny dragon, dragon, dragon. There we go. Okay. That's perverted. If you say so. I do say so. You are family no way. I have to look out for you, just like Winston. After the wedding, I'm gonna find someone for you. So how do you get on with Winston's mother? Uh she's a handful, but you know, her bark is worse than the bite. That I know. How about her meekly? Ha! Huh. That's worse than her bark for sure. Now she used to scare me, but then one day. I was having a problem with Winston. He wasn't paying enough attention to me, too distracted. And Mrs. Chu gave him a big lecture in front of the whole gang. I thought she might use that cleaver on him. Ever since then, Winston's been an absolute doll. And even though she still yells a lot, I know her heart is in the right place. Well, you're lucky. And my mother never liked my girlfriend. I guess it's hard for the moms. Well, I mean, you know, I used to have a thing for blondes, too. That drove her crazy. Bad enough if I went out with a Chinese American girl, but a whitey? <laughs> well, it's good to know she was loyal to her people. No, she's loyal to her prejudices, more like. That too. He called him a whitey. This is a big, big highway. Perfect. Oh, so good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. I'm here to finalize the details of the flower room. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just the driver. Mm -hmm. 
with my cool shades. I'm just gonna change back and then we'll be done. Uh, actually, there is one other thing. Black orchids. This probably sounds silly, but it was my mother's favorite flower. And now that she's gone, I was thinking that I'd love to have a black orchid centerpiece. I'm afraid that's impossible. <laughs> there are none to be found in Hong Kong. Really? Well, I thought they had some down at the Garden Temple. Well, yes, but they're not for sale. The other day, the CEO of Old Boy Trading wanted one for his father. He told him they offered Temple $100,000. They still say no. <laughs> it's incredible, no? <laughs> a black orchid at a wedding guarantees that the couple stays together for the rest of their lives. Oh, well, Wei, come on. We can go now. Falling out had some bling for my fingers. Alright, next we need to pick up the wedding cake. So you got a cake picked out? Winston's in charge of that. He knows I'm very particular. Way! Oh, hush up. I'm getting a statue. Looks like a freaking gerbil. I'm sure Winston will impress me. It's our wedding after all. <laughs> and your wedding has to be perfect. Now you're <laughs> no, it, it was me, my sister. Growing up in old prosperity, she, she started down a particular road and couldn't get off of it. My mother hoped that moving to San Francisco would shake her up and change who she hung out with, you know? Did it? Yeah, for a while. But some habits die hard, you know? Some don't die at all. I'm sorry, Ray. Winston mentioned that she passed away. I didn't mean to hurt her. It's okay. It's good to remember where you came from, and where you go. Hey, isn't that a van from the wedding cake company? Hang on. What are you doing? The, the guy, the guy had the wrong address. Winston asked me to make sure the cake is delivered. <laughs> so thoughtful. Wait, slow down. Peggy, if we don't catch that bed, you won't have your special cake at your wedding. What? That's that's go fast. <laughs> oh good lord, did you see what it just did? He's not pulling over. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll follow you. Hey, that is not my fault. <clears throat> With that freaking problem. <laughs> Do you have any family here at all? Uh, no, not anymore. Well, you're wrong, Way. You have family. You have us. Thanks. No, I mean it. I know Winston's work can be rough, but it makes us a family, too. I appreciate it. Man needs brothers, uncles, sisters, too. To help me with that soft side. Don't laugh. It's very. Probably 
thanks, but, but I'm not looking for anything serious right now. I wouldn't want it to reflect poorly on you. Ah, uh, uh-huh. You're still playing around, huh? Well, let me know if you ever change your mind. I know some nice girls. <laughs> what the heck? What monk is covered in tattoos like that? He totally bullshitted that. <laughs> Health shrines. I'll get them later. You don't belong here. Uh, what is belonging, brother, when we're all part of the same cosmos? I guess failure is impossible. Oh, lockbox, hello. How do I get up there? Hey, who are you? Well, who is anyone? When we are all each other, part of a single great organism that never dies. Ah, brother. So true, so true. <laughs> These guys are so dumb, so dumb. That was supposed to be a tackle. Monk fight. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, you can't grapple and you can't regular punch. Stay down, man. Ducked under that. What the heck?
God, that is annoying. I won't get that hilt shrine though. Holy crap, that's a lot of monks. One monk down, or 50 monks down, one monk to go. One punch? He went down with one punch? Still a monk. You got them? Oh, way! Hey, thank you so much. How can I say no? Thank you. Do you have any Winston's clothes in the back? I don't think these robes are gonna make the right impression. What do you think about this? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Drop off Peggy to play mahjong. <laughs> Why am I wearing that? Thanks for being so helpful, Way. I really appreciate it. Of course. Sometimes this wedding thing stresses me out. There's so much to get right, and you only get one try. Don't worry, Peggy. It's going to be perfect. Oh, it's so nice to find someone you can really rely on. I can see why Winston likes you. I don't mind the gold necklace and all the stuff on my wrist. <laughs> Winston's laundry. Wow. His laundry is a big ass gold chain.
Am I near home? Nah, not really. destiny from the start. What does that make me? Oh, I have no doubt your return to Hong Kong will affect many destinies. At least your own. Yeah? Surely. That's why you came in the first place. Maybe I just wanted to move back. Maybe. And maybe I decided to break my own rule and train a known triad for no reason whatsoever. But I think X, X, hold X, X. Riff Raff Disposal and Drunk Disposal. First thing I'm going to do is go back home and look like I should. Ah, my lovely crappy apartment. How I missed you so little. Because I didn't miss you at all. Because you suck. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I like those. I'm gonna wear them. Nah, I'm gonna stick with those. <laughs> what the heck? Alright, guys and girls. That'll do it for this video. So, until next time... Everybody have a fantastic day. Peace.